Well, good afternoon, good morning. My name is Sherry Shaw. I have the honor of serving as the Assistant Dean for Student Success in the College of Health and Human Services. I'm gonna spend a little time telling you about our amazing college. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that you can see what I see. So a little bit about the College of Health and Human Services. Our vision is simple. We enhance health and quality of life. We believe that we do this by creating transformative learning experiences, advancing knowledge through research and scholarly activity, and engaging in local and global communities. Additionally, we do our vision and our mission under eight core values that you can see below that include, but is not limited to, collaboration, trust, and vitality. Here are our three schools. So the College of Health and Human Services is organized by three schools, the School of Social Work, the School of Health and Applied Human Sciences, and the School of Nursing. From the list below, you can see what major you're interested in falls into that appropriate school. So you will see that our School of Social Work has a BSW and an MSW. Our School of Health and Applied Human Sciences has all of our allied health majors. So think about public health, exercise science, athletic training, and our newest program, our Masters of Healthcare Administration falls within the School of Health or Applied Human Sciences. And then the School of Nursing has our nursing programs from our BS to our DNPs and our, all the MSN programs. Um, also our online accelerated program of R and BSN, but the School of Nursing houses an amazing program in clinical research that also has a master's in it. So I would recommend learning a little bit about clinical research, a fascinating major. Here is what we look like in regards to our student headcount. So the College of Health and Human Services began in fall of 2010, and at that time we had 1,598 students collectively through our three schools in our college. Now, today, 10 years later, we have over 4,500 students throughout our undergrad and our grad programs within our three schools in the College of Health and Human Services. The exciting thing that we were able to do this fall is we completed our Health Science Quad physical buildings and we actually opened our Veterans Hall, which is a two uh, building structure that over arches the chancellor's walk um, and it allows for us to have a dynamic learning environment with um, multiple laboratories, a lot of hands-on experiences. Um, we have many different, uh, different labs that focus on different body parts or applied learning, um, physical. We also have an interprofessional clinic. Uh, this building is fascinating and it will continue to provide us the opportunity to grow as we continue to move and enhance quality of life and health. A little bit about the college is that the Dean, Dean Hardy, really believes in student success as being job number one. And to that resolve, he has put together a student success center. I have the honor of serving as the student success supervisor for the student success advisors and the centers. And one of the things that I enjoy saying about our SSC is that we're a one-stop shop. So as a student in the College of Health and Human Services, regardless if you have a faculty advisor or professional advisor, you can always come to the Student Success Center for any of these things listed. Uh, for a major exploration, if you wanna add a minor, if you wanna double major, career advising, post-grad options, if you wanna learn more about leadership or scholarship opportunities, let us be the place that you begin your search and your question set, and then we can help refer and direct you to the appropriate location on campus or help you with the questions you may have um, through searching websites with you, helping you create a plan, uh, reading your resume, referring you to the Career Center, and a host of other things. Additionally, one thing that you see at the top of this spreadsheet or this PowerPoint is that um, we also are the instructor and facilitators of CHES 205. And you will hear about that upon your start here. CHES 205 is the Introduction to Health and Human Services. I currently have the opportunity to instruct this class. And this really gives you an overview of all the majors that are located in our college, as well as some of the overarching themes that apply to all of our college uh, and the health environment, I will say. Um, so think about sexual health, uh, rural health and equity, um, social determinants of health. Um, there are a multitude of opportunities to learn about health and human services and how all of our fields and majors integrate together. And this class will do that for you. 
here's the team. I call us the dream team. Um, you have several different people that you can reach out to. Our student success advisors see many different caseloads. So they actually oversee all of the online accelerated programs, so our undergrad and our grad programs. Um, and then any pre-major. So as you come into the college, um, you have to have at least 24 credits of transferable credit um, to declare a major within the College of Health and Human Services. And that will, will place you at a pre-major level. Some of our majors, such as nursing, clinical research, uh, rec therapy, um, social work, they have secondary applications. And so you'll start off as a pre-major in most of those, and then you'll declare after you complete and are admitted through their secondary application. Um, and then there are majors just as public health or exercise science that once you meet their minimums and have the GPA, you can jump right into them as a declared major. But no worries about that. The Student Success Advisor team is able to provide support to you, um, recommend you to the major of your choice, help you navigate that selection for you as we know that's a big decision. If you wanna to talk to us, you are able to schedule an appointment. This is a screenshot of our website and the website is listed below. Feel free to just Google CHHS SSC UNCW and it'll come to this page as well. If you're a current CHESS student, then you will click that first green button and it'll direct you to Starfish. And if you're a prospective student, it will direct you to a survey in which me and Linda will navigate um, to create an opportunity for you to speak to one of our amazing team members to learn more about a major or learn about how you can get involved once you apply and are admitted. Again, these are our majors, so I wanted to make sure that these stayed uh, fresh in your mind as we talk about the next three slides. So what can you do with majors in the School of Social Work, the School of Health and Applied Human Sciences, or the School of Nursing? Well, if you're thinking about social work, I'm gonna let you sit here and look through some of these uh, potential careers and uh, what are the characteristics of a social worker. So when you think about social work, you can think about substance abuse and addiction, aging, child welfare, developmental disabilities, clinical social, social work, um, social workers work in schools and hospitals and agencies. Um, but the thing to know is that they are very caring people. They want to help people relieve suffering and they really work to make a difference. So if this is something that you're thinking about, um, social work may be just for you. So if you're thinking about the School of Health and Applied Human Sciences, this is our allied health school. So think about all the different things you can do based upon the major of interest, recreation therapy, recreation sport leadership and tourism management, uh, healthful living and fitness education. You have uh, the opportunity to do exercise science or public health or math, athletic training. What can you do within these majors? And these are just a couple of the careers in these settings, as well as some of the job titles they may, may, may resonate with you that will also let you know that your major would be inside the School of Health and Applied Human Sciences. Here's a little information about the School of Nursing. So as I mentioned, the School of Nursing houses all of levels of our nursing programs, as well as the clinical research major. And when you think about what is clinical research, the thing to know is clinical research is the overseer of the drug trials that we are currently in right now. Think about COVID-19 right now. Um, clinical researchers are preparing all of those clinical trials. They're making sure that the medicines meet the needs. They're testing groups. Um, they're making sure that we are ready to have a vaccine, a fascinating area. We also have a minor in clinical research. So if you're thinking about another major in one of the other schools, I would suggest even learning a little bit more about the clinical research program. I've listed some of the careers here in these settings, as well as some of the overarching job titles that may come in this area. Cool thing about the College of Health and Human Services is that every student upon their graduation will have had some type of internship, field experience, or on-hand learning. Um, because we really believe that the way to really help enhance health and quality of life is to get you out meeting people um, and providing that direct care support. So you will have a clinical, a field experience, or internship based upon your degree. But in addition, some of the opportunities could include a study abroad exposure. So we've had students go with our faculty or independently to Belize, Costa Rica, United Kingdom. I actually had the opportunity to travel alongside the School of Social Work to London, where we learned about the um, where the social work program and the 
discipline began. And it was an amazing opportunity. So there is so much to do in regards to in and out of the classroom, as well as on-hand experience, as well as study abroad. I would encourage if you have the opportunity to study abroad because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Other things to know about the College of Health and Human Services is that we really focus on interprofessional collaborative education. So as I spoke about the three different schools, you will see that there are going to be an integration of classes. So in CHES 205, the Introduction to Healthy Human Services, that class has a lot of students engaged in all the areas of discipline. And so does our research class. We have a CHES 411 class. And some of those students including this example here of recreation, therapy, nursing, and social work, they come together using our simulation lab and we give them a case study and they're able to work together to see where their fields overlap and how they can work together to meet the patient's needs. And so you will really get to see how you work with a social worker if you're a nurse or how you could use recreation therapy if you're in social work. How can you engage collectively together to really enhance the quality of life for your patient? Other ideas to note is that we are heavily involved in research. Um, so we typically have a Health and Human Service Week in March. And in March, our first day is always research and innovation. Below listed are a couple of topics that are very interesting and impactful when you think about the area of health and health disciplines. And so you could research something that's important to you. You could research something that is listed below. Um, and we have faculty, we have staff, we have other peers, student peers that could help um, and you could be engaged with. Uh, we love to see our students get published, do presentations. We have poster presentations. We have interprofessional case competitions. Uh, the other way to learn about hands-on experience in the same lane is to also get deep involved in research and innovation opportunities. So we want to make sure that we provide that opportunity for you. We have an associate dean for research and innovation, Dr. Justine Real, and she creates a lot of opportunities for students to become engaged in research. So you would definitely want to check that out in the college of Healthy Human Services. The poverty panel that I have listed here also is one of the major things that we do in March. We have a poverty symposium where we come together with all the colleges on campus, a lot of our community partners and community uh, hospital, and they talk about things that are very impactful around health inequities, health disparities. For example, this past one was focused on affordable housing. But there will be a lot of opportunity for you really to learn about research, engagement, health inequities, disparities. We also have an assistant dean for community engagement and impact. In order to do the work that we do, we have to rely on our community partners. We can't enhance health and quality of life if we're not engaging in the community. Ashley Wells is our assistant dean and she helps create those opportunities. So one of the things, if you recall, is that you will do an internship, an externship, or a field experience. So you will be out in the community and Ashley can help you create that opportunity. Uh, we have many of them established, but if there's one that's very impactful to you, we can help engage you with that agency um, or facility and create an opportunity for you to be able to do some community engagement, some civic opportunities um, with that organization. But these are just listed a couple of our great partners within the CHESS. In addition to that, as mentioned, we do have Health and Human Service Week. We typically have it in the third week of March, and it has many different faculties that we really try to uh, impart on our guests. It's open to students, to faculty, to staff, and community partners. Um, there is, as you can see from the right, an uh, interprofessional walk where individuals of all ages, races, and genders come together and we walk the campus um, to get us moving and getting us fit and engaged. We also have Research and Innovation Day. There are a couple of school student presentations. And then we invite many different people from all over to talk about their health research, um, their planning, um, to make sure that we are all abreast on the new knowledge that's happening in the College of Health and Human Services and within the field of health and human services. The other thing is we like to have our fun. We love to support our college. So each student typically around convocation or throughout their first year will receive a t-shirt. Um, and this t-shirt we invite you to wear on Thursdays. Take a picture, take a selfie, and, and share it with us on Instagram. We call it Celebrate Thursdays at Chess, but it's another way for students and faculty and staff to engage with one another. 
A couple of special programs that I wanted to mention. So within our recreation therapy program, there is a program that came out of that college called Access of Wilmington. And now Access of Wilmington is its own standalone community partner. And this provides opportunities to individuals with disabilities, as well as veterans and older adults. And so you will see a lot of students in, your, in our college, as well as in the rec therapy program, um, volunteering, with the Access of Wilmington, um, you know, helping at some of the um, Miracle League. So Miracle League is a softball opportunity where there is an accessible baseball league and we actually go out and cheer on the kids. Um, we serve as their help when they're hitting the ball and running for the home runs and there's an opportunity for you to engage um, is that as well. So this may be an, a great opportunity for you to get some of your volunteer hours. Um, it may be an opportunity that's just impactful to you and you want to volunteer. Please look out for that and please let us know how we can help you get engaged with Access of Wilmington. Additionally, everyone loves this program. Um, this program is our assistance dog training. So one thing I will tell you is that in the College of Healthy Human Services, you will share the hall with our dogs. Um, our dogs are amazing. Um, they are trained in over a hundred different cues to support individuals that have post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury, behavior disorders, or physical disabilities. Um, as a student in the assistant dog training program, it is a four-part series. And so your first, your first semester is learning about how to care for a dog. And then the second and third, and I think the fourth semester as well, you are sharing a dog with a couple of students and you are helping them get their cues down so that you can all um, be prepared to give your dog to uh, someone who really needs it that will help them have a better quality of life. It's an amazing thing to be able to walk through our halls and seeing the dogs learn how to open the door or push the door open or walk side by side with their partner and their peer to help support an individual. Another special program in the College of Healthy Human Services is Mentor CR at FU CR. So FU CR is one of our centers that supports our clinical research program. And so as a mentor in the CR, you will be able to receive um, an individual or a faculty member who's working in the clinical research field and just helps you with more exposure, more opportunity. Um, it helps you with networking, get preparation for the workforce, also to um, be engaged so that you are able to um, receive jobs, opportunities, partnerships. So this is a really great program for individuals who are interested in the clinical research program. Finally, a couple last things. We love to have amazing traditional programs and to work collectively together. Here are some of the things that have happened in the past. So we usually have an annual pop-up shop where you can get some Chez apparel, some sweatshirts, t-shirts, alumni apparel. And as you can see in the middle, we have implemented our Chez Cares face masks, which have come really in handy this past semester. Uh, we also have some traditional programs, our convocation and carnival. That's the way that the college kicks off their year. We usually have it in September. This year it was virtual um, and we are really excited. It gives us a chance to come together, celebrate the start of the year together and just get excited for what's going to happen. Um, and so you will be able to come to our convocation and carnival. It's full of games and food, um, music, uh, presentations, the Dean talks, there's just a, an exciting atmosphere that comes around our convocation. And then at the bottom, you'll see the leadership lecture series. And I like to highlight this because there are phenomenal people that come to UNCW to share their experiences and their great work with all of us. Um, this past couple years, we've had been in Amalu. If you don't know him, he is the person who, um, found the um, brain injury in football players. And so he actually came and told us the story of how he found the trauma and how he worked to become um, the person who really knew about CTE. Um, and so it's just fascinating to have him. Derek Kayango, he was a CNN um, hero and he actually creates soap to help in indigenous or underrepresented areas to help with cleaning and eradicating diseases that can come from simply not being able to wash your hands. And then Tarana Burke, um, she is famously known for the Me Too movement. And so we've also had her come prior as well. There are an amazing 
abundance that the uh, UNCW Leadership Lecture Series team puts together, and the college has the opportunity to help co-sponsor some of these opportunities. And so just wanted to highlight that when you're here, you are integrated into a world of experiences of phenomenal people sharing their gifts and their exceptional contributions to society. And it really does inspire you to not only work in the health field, but know that you are can really make an impact. So just to end, this is our website. Um, this is the information that you may need in case you'd like to reach out. Our phone number, our email, and please connect with us on social media through Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Our handle is the same at UNCW CHHS. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope to see you, future Seahawk.